The Chipotle outbreak in the news builds a great case for developing your skills in root cause analysis. New this morning, Chipotle is making a big push to clean up its kitchens and its reputation. You're not going to find a single Chipotle restaurant open until 3 o'clock this afternoon. So Chipotle shut down all of its restaurants today for four hours for a company-wide, nationwide mandatory training as a corrective action to the E. coli outbreak. But did they really identify the root cause? CDC has been working for the last several months with state and local officials and other federal officials to investigate two different outbreaks of E. coli O26 linked to Chipotle Mexican rural restaurants. And there was a lot of testing of different food products at Chipotle and um, tracing back, try to see uh, if things were in common between different restaurants that were served uh, where ill people ate. What a great case for two basic quality tools in root cause analysis. In the Five Whys experiment, we asked the question, why did this outbreak happen? As we ask this question, we find that there will be multiple sub-causes, but the goal is to keep asking the question until we find a root cause that we can actually do something about so that we can implement a preventive and corrective action. Across the country, every single person has to pass a food safety course, but here at Chipotle, an investigation actually found that not every employee was passing that course. So today, you're going to see signs that look like this all over all 2,000 restaurants across the country. The other tool we can use in a root cause analysis is the is or is not comparison, which helps us to distinguish what is a root cause from what is not. A lot of restaurant chains are going down the local route. Is that almost more problematic than using a big distributor that's been in business for years and been servicing the fast food industry for decades? Uh, I think it just adds some additional complications when you have more local suppliers. Um, and again, uh, I think the, the issue is really focused on making sure that those local suppliers are following the best food safety practices in both how they grow and harvest um, and pack and ship their food. So were they able to identify the root cause of the Chipotle E. coli outbreak? But unfortunately, uh, we were unable to uh, find anything that would have been in common between those restaurants. Which is a good illustration for the importance of good record keeping and documentation in your food quality and safety management system. How unusual is it that you, you're unable to find a source for the contamination? So unfortunately, we don't find the source uh, in a number of our investigations. Um, that, that last year we did uh, found the source in about 15 of the investigations that we worked on. One of the complicating factors was... So at the end of the day, the question is... So from the CDC standpoint, Chipotle is now safe to eat at? Um, well, we know that they've made a number of improvements uh, to their food safety uh, system. So again, we're hopeful that, uh, that they've fixed whatever the problem might be and we won't have to uh, see any more illnesses linked to Chipotle.